Hi, my name is Josh Coates. I'm the executive chef at Soul Brothers in Knoxville, Tennessee. And today we're going to make galbi, a Korean style short rib. All right, so we're gonna work on the marinade for the galbi. And to start off, we're going to go with the fourth of a cup of brown sugar. And here we are going to add our one cup of soy sauce, about two tablespoons of grated Asian pear, two tablespoons of white onion, grated, about two tablespoons of grated garlic, two tablespoons of grated ginger, and just a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. You wanna kinda of go easy on the salt. The soy sauce is already salty enough. Whisk and combine all of your ingredients until well mixed. Now we're going to add our marinade to the bag with our short ribs that are already cut here. These are uh, Korean style where they're cut uh, thin and across the bone rather than with the bone. Pop open our bag here. Once it marinades in the bag, you're gonna just massage this in with it. I find the easiest way is literally just to take the bag with air still in it and just give it a good shake. Massage it in with your hands and make sure all the crevices are touched. And let out some of the air because air kills everything. Once we've got the mixture into the bag, we're actually going to place it in the fridge and let it marinate for at least two to four hours. It's best overnight. Uh, and then we'll come back and actually get these on the uh, cast iron and cook those off. Now we're back after about two to four hours of marinating and we're going to cook these off. So here we have our sesame oil that we're actually going to take in our preheated cast iron skillet and we're just going to place this in here just a little at a time. We're going to take our marinated short ribs. You can see how those have changed in color. We're going to set those down. Let those sizzle off. This is a very quick cook time. So we're using cast iron uh, simply because it holds the best heat. It will actually keep it at an even heat all the way through so you'll have a nice even crust. Uh, I tend to like to cook these about two to three minutes on each side. At this point, we're literally going to do this in true Korean fashion and cut these here with scissors. Now we're going to take these and plate these up just like we would if we were serving them at dinner. All right, and these are all banchans in the Korean uh, culture. You eat family style and everything is generally served with white rice build kind of your own plate as you go and you can pick and choose the little things that you want to eat with your dinner. All right guys, let's dig in. That's home.